but um, I still think that it's much more work to take care of. You have to go to the vet for it and stuff, and I have no time to go all the time to the vet. Well, we have no transports all the time. It's like, it's, it's going to be a bit costly, I think. And I haven't done so much of my research on this. I just know a few things on bunnies, but it's like, should I get one? And that's the thing. Now, if y'all know anything about bunnies, please let me know. This might be my second option, but it's like, I don't know. I really don't know what to get, you know? Because on one hand, I think a gecko would be a good companion. It's very easy to take care of compared to a bunny, but a bunny, I think people will be pleasant about it, but not the crap. <laughs> uh, so, you know, uh, let's just, let's just see. Let's just see. Because I've had, like, you know, furry animals, cats and hamsters and stuff, so, you know, it's just that with hamsters, I remember, they would smell a lot and stuff, and... Like, we couldn't really pet them and stuff, or, like, well, we could carry them, but they would bite. I never carried them. Um, tried to. Never got bitten, though. <laughs> Anyways, but that's besides the point. I think the smell could be a big issue for everyone else, you know? Might look cute, might look pre pleasant, but it won't look, it won't smell perfect, you know? I don't mind having my own place one day and having a bunch of bunnies roaming around or whatever. I think that's fine. But it's like, you know, now, uh, if you get a bunny or something, you need, like, a lot of stuff and a lot of attention more than a lizard, in my opinion. So, it's my second option. It's my second option. Uh, anyways, yeah. That's it for the video. Hope y'all enjoyed this amazing video because, you know, <laughs> uh, I don't know what else to say, to be honest. Bye.